I think energy security for many people in the United States is defined, particularly in the short term, by increased supply of, of oil. And that was particularly the case four months ago when uh, prices of energy were, were quite high. Um, and so the, the effort to provide more security was providing more demand, pr providing more supply. Um, and you could see in things like offshore oil drilling or, um, or taking coal and turning it into petroleum, which has uh, both of which potentially have real um, uh, negative contributions to the climate change problem. Um, some of the, the more hidden conflicts are in your international diplomacy. If part of the big picture of climate change is trying to bring countries like India and China into uh, a global set of agreements, but you're the president of the United States and you have a relatively short list of asks, asks and priorities in bilateral uh, meetings or the broad bilateral relationship, a real question comes to what comes first, climate change or um, Pakistan's nuclear, uh, you know, with respect to India, relations with Pakistan on nuclear issues, or uh, Iran's um, drive to get nuclear weapons, uh, or with respect to China, dealing with North Korea and, and its uh, nuclear issues. So there's an element of energy security that's tied up in, um, in nuclear diplomacy that could undercut your efforts on climate change. <coughs> Uh, uh, that even drills back to domestic policy. If you are pushing hard for adding more nuclear at home, and that leads to broader licensing, not just in the United States, but a renaissance of, of civilian nuclear overseas, making sure that you're not con contributing to proliferation issues and the like. So there, there really is potential um, conflict, and the incoming administration has to really watch and manage those um, in both directions. <coughs> 